Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, today I wanted to uh, to open, uh, unbox this retro arcade. It's a uh, Capcom that just came in by uh, Replicate, and uh, it it finally came. It, it took a long time. I I pre-ordered this like in April, either April or or close to the end of March. And they have told me that it was going to come in like in the in July. And they say if you're going to cancel, you have to cancel before May. So when July came, they sent an email out and said that uh, due to some problem with the controller, they will delay delay it and make it better on a USB uh, connection so I'm doing uh, so today we're going to compare all the different one we have here uh, on screen size and everything and this is what it looked like when you first open up uh, it came like this it doesn't have any cushion or extra box it just came like this but I hopefully there's nothing messed up. Uh, they do have the angle corner for the box, as you can see, like that. So hopefully that will protect it. Protect it. So let's flip it upside down. See if we can get this thing come out. All right. So so far so good. Uh, I. I actually purchased this one uh, for my own money. Uh, I was very lucky. Uh, actually, they have changed the date of delivery like so many times from July to beginning of September and then end of September or sometime mid September. And apparently, uh, it never came until now, <laughs> November. So, uh, I went and cancel it one, uh, cancel this, and then, then I see people did a, they send a, a free one to, the people channel that had a lot of sub subscriber, so they got their, uh, Street Fighter for free, and they did an open box, and it looked pretty cool, and it come with uh two games. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up and look inside. I'm excited about it. Uh, at the same time, I heard about bad news about the the new one. That in the beginning when they do the demo, the screen was actually a full screen. So let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. See, like they actually showing. This screen, if you look at the screen, it's all the way down to the bottom. So, here's another one. Light up Marquia, everything. See how the screen is all the way down to where the last character, the line, down here? Okay. Now, I saw one video was saying that uh, he was kind of pissed. Like, I would have be too because I've been waiting for a long time too. See how this screen... It's all the way down here. And this is from their main uh, video that I did a, uh, on the YouTube. I did a screenshot that they're doing advertising, having people to purchase it. And this is what it looked like. See, all the screen is all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Now, I was told that wasn't the case. So, let's see what happened. Let's see how, how bad this might be or might not. Hopefully everything, the box look like it's in good condition. And how you open this from the top. So let's open this up and hopefully that everything is good. I hope I will not be disappointed. I heard that the screen being uh, they did not give us the same screen that they advertised, which is kind of sad. 
okay and then we have to wait it so many months so long to finally get it because uh they have issue with it and i uh, i have seen one video where they actually show that the second controller was supposed to be a bluetooth uh, i wish i have saved that video because i could i actually could show it to you but now the the controller is not it is not bluetooth it's actually a uh, wire wired control which is okay with with me because i wanted to able to plug the plug it to uh you know to raspberry pi or to my retro system and which to me is actually okay okay i i'm not very upset about that it's not bluetooth but in the beginning they did say show that you could charge your your external controller and then you could use it as a bluetooth but apparently that have changed okay so so far so good so when you first open up the size look like this I wish my screen wasn't that zoom in okay I'm recording from a phone so bear with me I'm having a hard time getting the whole thing in here all right so let's open this up Maybe I should bring it up higher. Give me one moment. Let me adjust the screen. So you guys will see what I'm looking at inside without me tilting it. Oh, that looks good. Okay. So the side picture, have a picture on the side and you take the cushion out. Now you guys have seen a lot of unboxing, so but I am gonna measure uh, the screen to see what is exactly the screen size uh, they are selling us. Because based on that video, that picture that I took a screenshot on the YouTube video, it was supposed. Here's the coin that's supposed to come with it. Oh, I forgot to show you the the one I bought for Neo Geo from last time. I do have a car that came with it. I didn't see the package, so this is the car that came with it, which is pretty nice collection car. And it looked like it feel like a little bit like a credit card, but it's not plastic; it's paper. Okay, but it's pretty thick. And I went and put the picture on it. All right, and they have near uh, Namco in the back, and that one is supposed to be play vertical. Yeah, so we're gonna measure to see. Now that one is for sure is scratch, it's stretch, stretch. The screen is stretch so we're going to compare it how much how stretch it is now this is an extra extra uh, rubber foot for the bottom of the arcade and there's four of them which is good because if I lose it I could come here and find it and put it back on on the bottom so it won't be wobbly I did have some of them lost so it's good that they put that in there so this is protecting the screen right here which they pack it up they pack it it pretty very well okay so let's pull this out and uh, let's make sure there's nothing in here nope nothing else that's it okay put all this back all right so we're gonna put all this back. I didn't even, even break my plastic on it, so it's good. Still in, intact. Alright. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna also plug a uh, Xbox controller on it to see if it actually works. I I I see people talk about it but nobody uh, did a demonstrate on it that I know of. So I'm gonna do that today. And I'm not going to go into too much of a menu. Okay, this is a screen protector. I was wondering why it looks so 
screen look like somebody had peeled off and put it back on because look at that the screen is all and then we're gonna look at all all the all all the directions see if all the if this is an IPX screen or is it a see by the way you could tell this screen is not the same screen that they show on on their on their video. Sad to say, which is is see, if you look at this one, see how the picture is is stopped at the middle. Instead of uh, instead of all the way down to the bottom where the box is, see. So you got this extra gray space right there. So the screen look more like vertical, vertically instead of you know four by three. So it is a lot smaller, and we're gonna measure it with the templates. See what screen is it? We're gonna measure with this one as well. And we're gonna measure with the other one as well. See what kind of screen are we actually getting? Okay, and this is the cable for charging it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into, because I know that they normally come without no power. So we're going to plug it in and get some power from this. Where is my extra? The bad thing is they don't come with an extra plug and you have to find the extra plug to plug in, okay. So I'm not gonna play with Neo Geo, so let me unplug the Neo Geo and plug this to the Neo, Neo Geo connection. Okay, the cable right away is not long enough. I'm gonna measure this cable, the power charger cable. It's like, I can't even reach to reach to the reach the system. So let's see. This power cable is uh, apparently is short. So let's measure this. This is the power cable that came with uh, this uh, Street Fighter Street Fighter cabinet. It's gonna be sad, it's not gonna even. Okay, it's about maybe 38 and a half, point two or three. So about 38 and a half inches. This is inches. So it's not that long at all. So uh, I'm having problem plug this to the power because uh, the power will not reach. <laughs> That is not good. Power that will not reach. Okay. All right. So let's look at the back, and I'm gonna put a, go ahead and put the coin in the bottom. Uh, let's make sure you guys can see everything. Okay. Good. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put the coin. Point the coin and the sticker into the bottom, and I might have to get get a, a power power pack. This time they created us two separate door, but it doesn't. Okay, it does open all the way. You have to pull it out, pull it out a little bit because if you try to open it, it kind of stuck like that. So if you was to open this, it was stuck like that. So you have to pull forward. See that now they have a hole in the middle. Then you could open more, open wider. See. So before it was just open like this. See, it won't open any wider. That's the far as far as it go. So you have to pull it forward. I mean, toward the right. Then you could open a little bit more. Okay. So we're gonna put all this thing in here. So we won't. Uh, this coin is, is nice, but it, you cannot actually. There's no hole in there to put the coin in. So it's just for look. It doesn't do nothing. I was thinking maybe you could put it in and you drop down here. <laughs> That'd be cute, but no, unfortunately no. Okay, so I'm just gonna close this. Before the, there was a hole and it go all the way down this way, but now they have two separate holes, which is nice. Okay, you hear that? That's good. 
that's a micro micro switch the button feel real nice it look nice it's just that uh, this black thing cover the name the writing you can't really see the writing let me see if I can zoom in see you can't really see the writing on it but it, it's clear enough that you could see it but it just uh, can't really see it because the black thing cover it okay so here's the back and it comes with speaker and a protection hole to so that telling you that don't open it and here's your charger here's the two USB okay so we're going to take we're going to take the we're going to open this up and take the plastic off too might as well there's no need for that plastic to be there okay fold that up put it in the bag and I probably need to put those in the box there you go. okay all right so we're gonna open this up let's see if we could figure out how to open this okay it's pretty tight fit it's the cushion all right and it's it have some weight to it like a normal joystick weight and the, the writing is print out pretty clear so you can actually see it so let me focus the phone see that so the writing is print out very well so you could see it it's not like a but how about the yellow stuff <laughs> the yellow writing too close can focus okay that's the the closest I could get so the writing over here is correct too it's just that the black thing you can see it but here's the jump back flip forward flip it was the last one uh, forward Defense crunch, crunch. Let's move this black thing up. And hands. That's what I say. And then back. Back what? Back defense. Something called defense crunch. And this one is off offensive crunch then crunch two player so there's no slack and start just uh, one button punch there's no Capcom there you go Capcom simple is up here everything black around it uh, we got a micro USB, Capcom, made in China. Okay, so it's nice. Pretty cool. All right, so, oops, sorry. Let's focus on this whole thing. So compared to this, let me let me unplug this. Let's look at it. Compared to this, uh, the button is a lot smaller and the joystick is a lot smaller, but the height is about uh, the same. You could tell it's about the same. So the joystick, if you put it in the same level, joystick height is almost about the same with Neo Geo Mini. Okay. So this height is is reasonable height as like same with this one. Now let's compare this with uh, this one. It's about the same thickness of this game, but the button is smaller than the the one on 
but it is bigger than the one in the back okay but smaller than those but this thing click so you could like replace this with this <laughs> and play a nice game with it okay so it does have a very nice joystick and i like it and then uh there's supposed to be an extra another oh here's the sliding door you just you just can, can y'all see focus okay i'm just gonna put my hand under here and slide out this little panel she's just a slide out panel and it's supposed to be another uh, USB this is also the same as micro USB and then oh, I'm gonna open this and you're supposed to be able to play this with this machine okay so we're gonna plug the power in and plug turn this on and see measure the screen and then uh, try the joystick on different device okay so this is the, the can you all see that the little arrow so this is how I slide out so we're gonna slide back in okay and I guess if you were if you're not playing with it you could just set it right here I guess They they have a two little two little black thing right there. See? Right there. Kind of stick out a little bit. And then the, that's a flat surface. And the top, I think. Not sure. I think there's a, a little light here. And a here and a here. Three light. So that will sh show the I wonder this one will block the light. Maybe maybe it's supposed to go the other direction. Let's try it. Cause it looks like it's blocking the Yeah, need to go from the other direction. Otherwise it's gonna block your light. Okay? So let me turn the flashlight on. Okay. On the top there is three light ball. Y'all see it? and so that sliding door need to be facing the other way so it won't block it so you got three of those see what on top three little light bulb on top and then this is what inside look like okay kind of 45 degrees slide there so you can actually put your uh, put this one two right here it's hard to put that plastic oh let me put it right there okay so the two little whopper plastic kind of holding it so it won't fall off so let me take this thing off too there's two plastic cover you can get out. There we go. Hi. Huh. It's hitting the stick. So I need to face up. Okay. All right, let's turn the power on, see if it, it has enough power for it to come on. So let's turn the power on, see if the light will come on. There you go. There's the power on top. There you go. There's the light. So you got the red, the blue, and I think the white one is, is yeah, and the white one. So I see it. So red, blue, and and then that's how it shine. They look like that. It looks pretty cool. Okay. So Makia light up. Yes, Street Fighter. That's the loudest you get.
how on which that far This one apparently is not turning up, but this one I have not used for like like three to four months and the battery still turn on. This one is the one that I have to upgrade the battery, but if you don't use it in a couple of days, the battery is, is dead. And this one I put everything under here, the, the power charging cable, power charging cable, and so it's all in here. This one looks like you could put something here too, but you cannot open all the way. You pull it. There you go. You pull out a little bit the door, then you can turn sideways. But the door is not as wide as this one. This one is real wide. This one is kind of narrow. So you can't put anything like the cable like you could do with this one. This one I could put a lot of stuff in here. This one I only could put something in this. In here only. A little bit. That's it. And maybe something here. Okay, so the door does stay shut. Shut. This one I cannot open it. Okay, but we're gonna compare all three of this screen. Ah, I just dropped my. <laughs> I dropped my little BB one. Okay, this is from Walmart. This is from Tiny Ar Tiny Arcade. This is Neo Geo. This is from my arcade that's it right walmart tiny my arcade neo geo so right now i cannot turn this one on because and it's just it's still charging i think maybe it's coming that one i hold it a little little longer okay here it come all right let's measure the screen and see what what's going on with the screen is it true that this screen is the same as this size? We know that the screen is smaller compared to the picture I showed you. But let's see how big this screen is. So it's 2 inches across. Okay, let me show you. Let me uh... So as you can see, this is two inches up to right here. You guys see that? Okay, so it's two inches across. And let's see how long this one is. Oh my god, this is even smaller. This one is not two inches. This is less than two inches. So the screen is only up to here. Okay, it's not two inches. So that one, the screen is two inches. This one is not. Okay. So based on hitting the top, yeah, it's less than two inches. It's like 1.9 and how wide this is. Uh, it's not three inches, but it is 2.9. Almost three, but it's not quite. So it's right here, 2.9. It's not three inches, it's missing 
one gap, okay? It's right down here. So let's see how long this is. It's the same height. It's the same as this one, it's right here. So from here to here is the same, but from here to here, this one is smaller than, than this one. This one is wider, okay? And how about the one in the back? Let's move this out of the way. So let me turn that down. So let's see how big this one is. For centipede, uh, centipede is actually wider. It's at 2.1. So this is 2.1. Uh, two inches, 2.1 inches, and this is 1.9 inches. Uh, this direction, okay? 1.9. And the height, we, uh, this height and this height is the same. Uh, I believe it's three inches. No, it's not. It is... This one height is actually uh, two point eight and a half. So it's two. It's not two point nine, but it's two point eight and a half. Okay, and I think this one is wider. This one is two point nine. So this one is shorter a little bit by half inch this one is 2.8 and a half and this one is uh, from here to here is 2.9 not three inches yet and this one this one is also 2.8 so here from here is 2.8 but this one the screen here is wider okay this one is 2.1 2 and then 1.9 and then this one is also the length from here to here is 2.8 point 2.8 point 2.85 <laughs> okay and this is 2.85 and this one is uh, this one, this one is two point nine. So this one is longer, two point nine. I guess you could pull it longer, maybe because of the screen. I don't know. But anyway, these three have three different screen. It's not the same screen. This is not the same screen of this one. This is not the same screen of this one. But based on the video that they have been showing us from. Uh, when they sell it, this screen was supposed to be longer. Okay, it's supposed to be maybe uh maybe you're supposed to be a three, but instead they gave you a a two point nine, so half a, about an inch smaller than it's supposed to. Okay, now let's let's look at the screen and uh, see how good the screen is. Let me unplug it. All right, the screen look good from bottom and up. The color still look very nice. Let's tilt it up. Look beautiful. We're looking up from the top. It look very nice, very crystal. Let's see. We look at the bottom. I just went. Uh, the screen just changed. To, it look very nice too from the bottom. I don't see any uh, picture changing color. So bottom is very clear. Now let's check the side. I have problem with those on the side way. Let's check the side. Side look very nice, very clear. How about the right side? Very nice. So they actually gave you an uh, Google Good IPX screen. I'm very impressed by the fact that this screen is a lot better. Very nice. Bottom look very nice. Top look very nice. Does it have two speaker or oh, one speaker in the back? They didn't have no speaker here, okay? No speaker here. 
it's just black okay and that's what it look like here in the back okay two speakers in the back it would be nice to put it right in the front it would be not a lot nicer but this is pretty very very uh, creative and this is nice so actually this look a lot better than RK one up it's small but it looks a lot better the joystick click and microchip everything the screen look beautiful in every direction okay screen is very nice I don't have any complaint on any, the screen direction I wonder if that's the same thing with the uh, with this one let me unplug it okay look nice this way look nice this way look nice so I don't have problem with their, this company. The screen is all good. Very nice. Very good. I thought I, I remember one of them was now. I'm gonna try the centipede. Let me see if I can unplug this. I have not charged this at all. So still look okay. Oh, it went off. See power off. It does not have enough power. Ah. Let me plug it back in and I'll look at it and let you know. Yeah, that one did not have enough power. This thing drained very fast compared to the, to the, because this is like the first one that they came out. This is the gap between the, the RK. You can see the gap, the, whole, the gap between the wood and the, it's not flush, flush, flush all the way. See, it's kind of, this one is it, not bad. I just complain about this thing blocking me. And so when your hand you're playing, it's right there, your finger is on the way, in a way. But this one, I like the idea, the joystick is slanted and there's nothing to block you from playing. So your finger is laying here very nicely. You're not interfered by the side wall and it's tilted, you know, I think like almost 45 degree. I think maybe it is 45 degree. See, it's tilted. All right, so let me turn this back on and let me check the screen again. Now, you know about Nepcon. Their screen is pretty bad. You, you look on the top, it's good. But when you look at the bottom, especially when you look on this side, it start becoming uh, color changing, see? become you cannot play like that and some of them they actually come back they, they come pretty bad that that you know uh, it start look like 3d and it hurts your eye when you even sitting straight at it and looking at it because the way the color see that it faded so this is not a true IPS IPS screen this is a TFT screen okay so one angle is bad they should have make the angle the bottom bad then the size good so but apparently when they make it this direction but this one is real stretch stretch all the game is stretch even though Pac-Man they play horizontal and uh, templates but this is stretch real bad and this is like the screen is about 3.6 it's too long 3.6 and the width it's two inches, two point and a half, two two and a half. So this screen is a lot bigger than those, even sideways. But it's just way too long, okay. And that make the game not not very pleasant to play with. All right. So enough of that. I want to see if this work with a different joystick. Now I know that somebody say that if you plug a different joystick, you have to. Uh, Go to the setting in order for it to work. So let's plug it in, see what happened. Alright. Okay, let me look at this uh, centipede real quick because I, I thought that one of them wasn't, the screen wasn't that great. You know, side is good, top is good, bottom is good, and side is good. So this company make the screen very good all direction is good good job all right 
I like the way this is slanted. It is so beautiful. It's like uh, an artwork. Okay. Now it's off by a uh, an inch, but hey, you know it's two. It's almost a two. It's one point nine. Uh, this one is two, and this one is uh, this one is much wider. This is two point one. Okay. Uh, it would be nice if they use this one over here instead instead of this one. But hey, you no. Know, I don't know but I guess what make people upset is this is not what they show when before they sell it and then after we got it it's different from what they commercial so when they commercial it the screen was a little bit wider and now it's a little bit shorter by one inch so that's why people complain all right let's see if I could get second player to work without oh it worked I don't have to do anything Plug it in, it work. Coin, and then I press uh, start button. Okay, it only only matter work. I choose my character. Oh, this is second player. This almighty became a second player. Interesting. All right. I choose the lady, and I guess I'll just choose him. So if you just plug it in, it only matter become a second player. All the button work. Let me see the top. Yeah. So all the button work on this one. Very nice. Okay, let me zoom in closer. I could pull that punch. Yeah, see? That's cool. Good control. Love it. Love the control. Very nice. Very, very good. Very accurate. Even though it's small, but it works. I think this is the best mini controller that I ever that I ever play or try. So, press let, start again, get to pick my character. Color is very pretty, very, very pretty. I'm very impressed. It's like uh, playing this in the iPhone, the graphic, very pretty. Very red colors, red, everything. This is the best compared to any game that I have tried. This screen is beautiful, okay? So I recommend this system very much. Uh, it's only, I only paid uh, $96 plus the shipping. So we're roughly like one oh, less than one. I really do not know. <laughs> it's been too long when I purchased this, but I know it's definitely less than 110, okay? But this is pre-order. Now they sell this in Amazon for 119. They also sell it in their website too. Okay, and I'll put both links so you could look at it and see where you want to buy it from. But yeah, if you haven't got any of this 
game system, I recommend it. This is a very nice game, very beautiful, and it played very well. Uh, Centipede, I recommend it too because the trackball, after they fix it, is very beautiful and, and it played very well. And and uh, even though it's small, but the trackball is have weight on it. It doesn't feel cheap and it's very smooth. So I recommend this as well. I can't get out. And then this one, I also recommend it because if you like template, you like this game. I know it's not the one that you could just. How do I play one player? Oh, is it on the way? So I recommend this one as well. I like templates and this graphic is, is very nice too. Now I haven't done any framework patch to this. They say there is a framework patch. But I haven't I haven't done any to it. I have no problem playing with it, so I didn't patch it. It's supposed to do something, I don't know. I have no problem playing with it. So Alright. So that, that's it. This is my review. I like the game. I like the idea that you could play two player. Oh I forgot to do one thing. We spec we say we're gonna test the controller on some other system, correct? So let's take the controller out. Let's turn this off. So so shut down. Unplug this. And let's try this controller on on a they have a little hole here so which is good so it's easier for you to I'm sorry they have a little hole see that right there so you could put your finger in there and, and pull it out without you know you, we just you know pull it out it's pretty cool then you you grab it with two two hands like this and just pull I think I need to un I'm zoom in let me zoom back out sorry so I'm gonna pull this out and we're gonna try it on a different system all right so another charge overnight the way I test this system is I let the game run overnight let it run demo and over 24 hours see if the system will break by plugging in and let it run and if a system after one or two days it, it have problem like overheat or something go wrong you will know hey that's the time to get your money back or because you, you want to do it before 30 days correct all right so this is the power that came with it I mean this is a connection you have to connect it is it doesn't charge so you cannot play without plug this into the system so there's no battery in here you just plug it in all right so I want to see if it work with my retro on this system this is the new one I just bought oh I'm just curious if it work and then I want to try it on on this system too this is the retro RK R S07 this is G1000 okay and I'm gonna try all those see what happens I like the joystick it has some weight to it so you can actually put it on a table and it has some good uh, rubber feet on it and so it doesn't slide so that's good and you can just play it making noise but nothing happening let me see if I could start a game
You could play like this with your thumb on top as well, you know. All right, let's bring it down and so we could see what I'm doing. So this, when you put it on the table, it doesn't slide because it has some weight onto it. So that's good. Alright, uh, there's no stop button. But, huh, when you press both of this button, it come over here. Interesting. And go back to it. <laughs> okay. Can insert coin. But it does give you this screen. I wonder if I could fix the. See, I can't fix it. I wonder if I could fix the second controller. Maybe it will work. Okay, so first controller is this one. Second controller. Huh, same thing, classic. Okay. Hmm. This button do something, it just kick you on this screen, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, so it doesn't work with this. Alright, enough of that one. So that answered my question, forget about that. Let's try to see if it works on this machine. Oh, this one, uh, this version will not work. This one is not the, uh, this one is a uh, uh, custom framework. Custom framework does not work with uh, two player. Let me put it, put it away. I have Raspberry Pi on it. Let's plug it into Raspberry Pi real quick, see if it works. Hey, match, Street Fighter. <laughs> Street Fighter with Street Fighter stick. See? Because I changed the design. This one is the final fight. This is the Street Fighter. So, match. I have the same punch, style, everything. All right, that's the problem I'm worried because uh, I don't have... Oh, by the way, this, this is not caused by the, the ROM or the hardware. This is caused by the emulator. And plus, I have not plugged this in for a long time. So it does not have enough power. So that's why it's rebooting like that. So I might, I might not able to play... I might not try... I might not able to try to uh, test the... What you call it, the Raspberry Pi. But I'll put it on the description that if it work or not. Okay, I'll put it on the description, let you know if it work or not. I don't have the white plug. So I cannot test this. This don't have enough power. So I apologize. But let's go ahead and test it on Retro uh, RS07 stock firmware. Nope, doesn't work either.
So it does not work either. So that doesn't work. So would it work on uh, a Neo Geo? Let's see if it works on a Neo Geo. <clears throat> Alright, this is a hack version of Neo Geo. Okay. So let's turn the power on and let's plug the, this is for the controller. So let's see if it recognizes the Street Fighter controller. So we could see we could use the six button for the Neo Geo. This is the hack version. So I have a Street Fighter in here. So we could try to see if it work on the Street Fighter. All right, so far the control does not work. I mean, it's blinking correct yellow color, but right now it apparently doesn't work. And so the first player does not work because I plugged into the first player. So yeah, the controller, it realized something is plugging is a controller, but the, it doesn't acknowledge the the gameplay on this. Okay, so the only thing that you could play with this now so far is with the uh, Raspberry Pi. You cannot play with the retro game system on this machine or on this machine, and so it doesn't work. Let me plug it into a. Uh, make sure it work on my. Uh, uh, make sure it work on my uh, this machine that come with it. it doesn't work on anything else <laughs> so it better work on this machine because that's what it's made for I just want to make sure that the joystick is not malfunctioning you know what I'm saying because may, it doesn't work so far so maybe it's, maybe it's broken I don't know so let's bring this back up and bring it to the front of the screen. All right. So we press. Okay, I'll just press the select button. Coin. I mean, the coin button. Then I'm gonna click on second player. So yeah, control is good. And then I'll pick first player. Round one, so all the fun work. I feel pretty comfortable. Uh, it's thick enough to put my finger here and hold it like this you know like a regular joystick the thickness is not too thick it's just right because you can hold it and then this is your thumb that you rotate and then this is your button so i can actually i like it it's pretty comfortable i was i was thinking that it's gonna be awkward but it's not there you go i pull my punch even though i'm using the second joystick holding it up If I could do it again. Let me put it down and see if I could do it better putting it down. I'm just not very good doing it. But it's nice. I like it. You click and it work. So. Alright, I bought four more of this. I might take one of them in a pot and see if I could rewire this to other system like direct cable connection and make make this become the the joystick of it that would be nice you know because it is if you if I could open this and make this work with another joystick 
I mean, with the other retro system, it would be real cool because this thing is small enough and the height is just right and you could just play it. See, I'm doing it. Not hard. That's the only move that I really know how to do. The other move I don't remember. <laughs> so I don't do it. There you go. So it's good. Alright, thank you for watching. So hey, I hope hopefully I answer most of most of people's questions. Like, you know, the screen side and everything. And this one light up pretty nice. Let me see if I can turn off the light and see what it looks like with everything off in the room. Round one, Still look nice. Can you light up? Like a regular arcade. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And the graphic is very clear. So I got all the, all three of them running. Oop! <laughs> almost dropped it. All three of them running. My little mini arcade cabinet. Now this one, for some reason I can see it better. I don't know, you know, the marquee you, you see better than the other two. I think the other two, the marquee is. There you go. Let me make it darker. So if I make a darker, you can see all three of them. That's pretty nice. Alright, I'm gonna let it run 24 hours and see if the system will still work. And uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you like it, give me a thumb up. Sorry for the video taking so long. Alright, talk to you later. Bye bye.